And Emily. What's up, guys? Welcome into Truist Park. I got to say, those Braves hosting the Dodgers tonight. They'll be here the next three nights. The two best teams in the National League are facing off. A nice measuring stick for both teams. And, of course, Freddie Freeman, he's back in the ballpark he used to call home. When we talked to him earlier, one thing stood out to me right away. He still calls Atlanta home. He told us he spent the night at his house, and his dad dropped them off at the ballpark ahead of the game. His tone very different from last year. If you'll remember the first time he visited Truist Park after leaving the Braves, you know, he was very emotional. He sobbed, but this time is very different. Well, I mean, obviously it's a massive difference. Uh, there's a lot. Now it's just all smiles coming in. Last year, you know, it's I didn't know what to feel going into it. I just let emotions go. If every, most everyone in here knows that I, whatever happens, happens for me. I don't care. I'm not going to control anything. Whatever happens, that's what's just going to come out. So this time, uh, it's been all smiles, though. So um, it's been good. It's been good to see a lot of guys. Um, I saw sights in the dugout from across the way or the old hitting coach for me. But um, BP being canceled it messes up a lot of plans. I've seen a lot of people, but we still got a couple more days. And Freeman recently hit his 300th home run. Less than 150 players have done that. He said it's never been about that. It's not about the records. At one point, it was just about becoming a big leaguer then staying in the bigs and then being an everyday guy. And that's exactly what Freddie Freeman is. I expect a standing ovation for the former Brave in just a bit. Class act all around. Reporting live from Truist Park, Emily Gagnon, Atlanta News First. Jen.